this right here. This is from our buddy, Alan K. We made a model out of cardboard. <laughs> I guess you should have waited to see the iPad. He said that people that really love software should make their own hardware. Well, he's right. Bill Gates never got that. Look at this. That's a power book. See the little mouse roller and how the keyboard's at the back? Just like every laptop now? Yeah, we were the first ones to do that. See, look at IBM. They didn't do that. They had their keyboard up front with a little red nubby thing that's still weird today. Look at this. iPod. Not only the first one, prototype. And that changed everything too. Here's some portable computing devices, like Home Pilot. <laughs> he killed the Newton. And there's the Newton. <laughs> yep. It was kind of like a trio or a PDA. Steve killed that before anybody else made them. Here's some more. Blackberry, nine different phones. And then... <sighs> the iPhone. First one changed everything. And then... Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Jeez. Look at these. Sure glad Steve invented the iPad. Yeah, we're going to learn about the internet and how that was made. And here's a router. Isn't it pretty? Looks like a spaceship. Steve created Next after those jerks kicked him out of Apple. And made this computer. And that's the computer that Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web on. Jeez, what didn't Steve do? So, after Steve helped the guys that invented the World Wide Web, then Netscape came along, and <laughs> so this guy, Bill, yeah, he helped destroy Netscape to protect his monopoly of back innovation like he has for, for decades with the internet and computing. Are we on a map? Yep, we're on a map. There, oh, there's the Google Street View car. Hmm. I hope they don't take your Wi-Fi info and I hope they blur out any personal information. Well, that's a look at the history and the future of computing where Steve played a huge part Thanks for coming with me. See you later.